quick drop a like on this video in the next five seconds if you guys want the 10,000 v buck reward in fortnite Here on the channel, I love to gift a few lucky subscribers every single day all of the brand new skins and cosmetics in the Fortnite item shop. So if you guys do want a chance to get gifted a skin from me, all you have to do is drop a like on this video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and also leave your epic usernames down in the comment section below. And we are currently on the journey to 700,000 subscribers, so if you guys do want to help us out, go down, hit that big red button, subscribe to the channel, and also click that bell to turn notifications on. And I also wanted to give a massive shout out to all of you guys using supporter creator code NERPA in the Fortnite item shop. Shop. If you guys are using our code, let us know down in the comment section and we'll be sure to hook some of you guys up with some V-Bucks. There has been some secret free items that were found in the Fortnite files encoding many, many months ago, back in the beginning of the game in Season 2, that have yet to be released into the game for us to unlock for free. But due to some recent events, we have a ton of evidence that these items are going to be coming into the game very soon and available for us to unlock and get without having to spend any money, which is super, super awesome. Now, if you guys have been playing Fortnite for a while, you've probably heard of these cosmetics because like I said, they've been in the game files. They're a topic that comes up in the Fortnite community every few months because a lot of people are always talking about these. And that is the bronze, silver, and golden Victory Royale umbrella slash gliders here in Fortnite's Battle Royale. Like I said, these were actually found in the Fortnite files and coding. They are still in the game as of today. And yet they were put into the game files like they were going to be added to the game back in the beginning of season two. And here we are in chapter two, literally two years later, and they have still yet to be released in into the game. Now, for those of you guys that are newer or might think this is fake, because obviously it would be pretty easy to just Photoshop these umbrellas. There's a lot of talented artists out there. So you guys have a right to think these are fake. There's a lot of fake things out there in the Fortnite community. But for one, it was found in the files encoding. That's how we know they exist. But the reason we know 100% that these are in the game files and are going to be coming to the game is because we actually have legitimate gameplay of a professional player using the bronze umbrella in an actual game back in a tournament that was over a year ago called Called ESL Catawies. Now, like I said, this was a professional tournament, and the reason why these players were able to use these unreleased skins and cosmetics is because during these professional tournaments, the players are actually using developer accounts. They're obviously all at a big venue, they're not playing on their actual accounts, and they're also not playing on their actual PCs. So all of these computers and accounts have special access to all of the skins that have been coded and put in the game, regardless if they've been released into the public in the item shop or are available for all of us to actually get. We've seen this multiple times, like I said the gameplay for these umbrellas that are unreleased happened at ESL Catawies, and we've also seen massive streamers at older TwitchCon events and, and E3 gameplays and stuff like that that were actually caught using some of the skins that were unreleased at the time on their accounts because, like I said, they're all using developer Fortnite accounts. Now, unfortunately, due to copyright reasons, I'm not able to actually show you guys true gameplay of this guy using it, but we do have this lower quality image so you guys can get a feel for what this looked like. Again, it was during this professional tournament. He was actually shown on stream, and since all of these cosmetics were unreleased, locked on these accounts these guys were actually able to use it and this is what it looked like this is actually gameplay of the bronze glider but like i said there's actually coding for a bronze silver and golden victory royale glider in the fortnite files currently which means they are in the game and ready to go at any point now i know a big question a lot of you guys have at this point in the video is okay obviously they've been in the game for a long time i've actually made videos on this like many months ago and like i said it's a topic that pops up in the fortnite community every now and then why am i currently just now making a video Video, and why am I stating that these are going to be coming and released into the game for us to earn for free? Now, my reasoning for stating that these are going to be coming to the game as arena rewards is because Fortnite recently just did something that they have never done before, and that was they actually gave us skins, cosmetics, and items as a reward for a special and exclusive pop-up cup tournament that they just did last weekend. I made a video covering this in depth on my channel if you guys want to go check it out after this video, but I'm briefly going to summarize the pop-up cup was an exclusive tournament that was held for Japan and the Asia regions on Nintendo Switch. So the only people that were able to participate in this solo pop-up cup were Switch players, and obviously you had to be from the Asia region, which even if you weren't, all you had to do was switch over your matchmaking region to Asia, and everyone was able to participate. I've actually had YouTube friends that were from the United States that bought a Switch solely to go and do this tournament, because some of the rewards were actually unreleased skins, like the Dark Tricera Ops. We were actually able to get that skin, plus a back bling, and then we also so we're able to get the squid striker and the exclusive cab llama spray as well 
all 100% free as rewards for this solo pop-up cup on Switch in the Japan region. Now, like I said, this is the first time ever that Fortnite has ever made pop-up cups or anything to do with competitive Fortnite in the arena section actually give us rewards and items as an incentive to play and actually do well and meet the different point thresholds for the tournament. Now, since they finally broke through that barrier of giving us some free items and rewards, it's pretty safe to say that now that they're finally doing this for these exclusive tournaments, they maybe were testing it for like the smaller tournaments like the Nintendo Switch Cup and all of that stuff, they are going to be rolling out the implementation of arena rewards after many seasons of all the competitive Fortnite players and pretty much everyone in the Fortnite community asking and wanting to be able to earn some free items and rewards as an incentive to play Fortnite competitively, rank up, and get as many points possible in arena if you guys are newer to fortnite or someone that's just never played arena pretty much it is the ranked playlist over in fortnite which is mostly where competitive players and the better players are going to be and pretty much how it works is everyone starts in the bottom division at zero points now the more you play and the better you do you're going to gradually get more and more points and as you do that you're going to rank up through the divisions and every division you get to is going to be harder and better because you're going to be playing better players that are around your skill level depending on how many points you have so if they were to implement these bronze silver and golden gliders into the arena rewards as items for us to earn for free by ranking up through the things maybe they can make it to where once you pass the first two divisions you get the bronze glider once you get through like the middle few divisions you get the silver and then if you were able to reach one of the top divisions or champion division which is the absolute highest in arena you were actually able to unlock gold like i said and like i said it's not like you're winning a ton of v bucks or actual money but it just gives another incentive for players to try arena mode try competitive and actually gives them a reason to try to get better at the game and unlock some of these exclusive gliders and something that they can do is reset the points every single season similar to what they did here with chapter 2 where everyone's arena points reset so we were all starting back to the very same position and then that way it allows us to unlock new rewards and then every single season we reset in points they actually change out some of the arena rewards so it gives players incentives to get back into it and hop back in and try to grind as many games get up in the divisions get as many points as possible and unlock all the brand new free items so that's pretty much all the information I have for you guys in today's video of course what I want you guys to do before we end it is let me know your feedback and thoughts down in the comments section Section of all three of the brand new arena rewards gliders which one is your favorite i'm assuming most of you guys are going to say gold because it is the shiniest and the coolest looking by far but let me know what you guys think do you think that fortnite is finally going to add these gliders into the game after so many seasons in two years of being in the fortnite codes and files yet to be released let me know what you guys have to say and also just because i'm curious let me know where all the sweaties are at down in the comment section what rank and what division are you guys currently in Fortnite Arena. I want to know where you guys are at. Me personally, I don't play Arena that much, so I'm only in the second highest division, but I know for a fact there's probably some squids out there that are in Champion Division, or there is some cracked sweaties in my comment section, so let me know where you guys are at. I'm really curious. I'm really curious where the grinders are in Fortnite down in the comments below. So that's all I got for you guys in today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends. I don't know why, I just like picking him up. I need to find a sniper, dude. My sniper shot feels so on today. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, these guys are legit. I think these are all mobile players. Because those weren't bots, but they were moving like bots, and I almost died, too. That's what's really embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm saying they're like bots, but I'm, I'm out here almost dead.
Where's this last guy at? Oh, he's in the zone. Yeah, this guy's gonna die to zone, 100%. Let him bleed out. Oh shoot, there's people to our left. Nice. This guy's literally just in the zone still or what? Yeah, he's literally just chilling there. Headshot. <laughs> he revived that guy and I just headshotted him right back to being downed. How is this guy not dead? Oh, there we go. I was about to say. Oh, I just took fall damage. Rip. Oh, what? There we go. God. Whoa. Who's trying to snipe me right now? I, bots are so... <laughs> bots are so stupid. And what's the point of having those in the game? They're like free kills, really. Impossible to see these guys. There's a guy down here somewhere. Oh, that was game. 